Hello and welcome to the ESL ESEA Pro League. We are cracking on with our second season. I'm Alex Machine Richardson and he is Lee D-Man Smith. We're going to be going into this one with, I'm not going to lie, a big set of games today. We've got so many fantastic CS games coming up. We're going to be seeing a lot of Fnatic and a lot more from NIP as well. But of course, I think we need to always address what you could have missed if you haven't been staying completely up to date with the Pro League. So we're going to go ahead and rewind the clock and look at what you missed yesterday. Fantastic set of games. Lee, did you manage to catch any of them yourself? I did. I saw ma majority of them, actually. Poor old SK Gaming. Uh, I know. Definitely wasn't their night, that's for sure. But they were up against some tough opposition, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, the uh, they started off really with a bit of a mountain to climb climb and with the yeah. game against TSM. Yeah. Over on Dust2 as well, Moses hailing them as the best Dust2 team in the world very, very recently in Dubai. So no surprises seeing SK fall, but in such very demeaning fashion. I mean, lose, just yeah, picking up four 16, rounds. Four, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 very yeah, was... brutal. And then they moved straight on in to clash with NIP, this new NIP, this YOLO NIP, and <laughs> it went the same way. Yeah, and it was Inferno as well, which obviously NIP had beaten Inferno on in Dubai recently. So they were Pretty confident on that one. But then Mouse Sports finally turned up and, you know, actually looked pretty damn good yesterday. I know I was listening to you guys talking about it and talking about obviously Mouse Sports. There is a lot of skillful players on that team and finally they're starting to gel and worked well together. Yeah, they've always been a team that everyone's regarded in that top 10 and they're demonstrating exactly why uh, with these two results. Being Hellraisers, of course, that's Hellraisers with the new roster mix-up, seeing Fix slash Simple, depending where they're playing, as well as, of course, beating SK afterwards as well over on Inferno. So lots of Inferno games we saw yesterday, two of them and both SK getting challenged in uh, in pretty, pretty tough games, to be fair, yeah. for SK. But the discussion we kind of ended yesterday with was SK are here for experience. They're here to basically play regular games against the best. They don't have to basically go to lands to challenge the best. They can do it regularly yeah. online. And that's going to be big for SK. I mean, we, we said it on Tuesday, obviously, Cadian, when we when we had a chat with him, it, it was basically, it's a battle of survival for, for SK Gaming. They're not they're not foolish. They know what it's up, they're up against. And yeah. so far, they're sitting at 0-4 in the table. So it's not the best of starts. They had a chance against Na'Vi on day one. They had a couple of oh. chances. But overall... Yeah, they're they're in a real tough league. Yes, the pro league is uh, is the place to be. I think that's they they know where they they yeah. lie as well. They're, they're definitely not overreaching. They're just really happy to have got this far. I mean, they're playing qualifiers with at every opportunity they have to try and get to these big tournaments. They're might of course managing to qualify for this, getting that 12th yeah. spot away from flip side as well. So they are they they do taking the right steps at the right pace as well. I think so far for their roster now as well, new well, and improved. What's with been the uh, you know, say? What's the initial thoughts on config? You've seen him for two days running. I think he's he's definitely got fragging potential. There's a lot of skill in that in that man, but uh, haven't had enough time really. Let's yeah. be honest. A yeah. couple of best of ones. Well, it's, it's very easy, early for the team to start gelling together yeah. as well. Obviously, in-game leader changes, etc. It's probably more of just a Danish mix at this point. I think it's. I mean, yeah, they've been playing together for a while. They probably. I wouldn't be surprised if they're sticking with some strats that Barry kind of, you know, set up before his departure. But I still feel like there's definitely a lot more to come from SK if the right things happen in the right time. I think they've got they're kind of taking good good pacing so far. So moving away from SK, of course, we are going to be bringing you a lot of games. As I said today, we've got all four, but we have got a real stacked up roster of games starting with NIP Fnatic. Yeah, NIP Fnatic. It's a it's a big game. They haven't actually played each other for quite a while. That's back in July actually. So it's been a, a couple of months until these guys actually clashed. Uh, it will be on cash. You would assume Fnatic would be big favorites, but we've no idea cuz NIP are just playing so so loose and fancy at the moment. It's actually working out well for them. Uh, following that one, well Hellraisers, they did Pick up that win. Uh, oh, lost yesterday, sorry, against Mouseports. So you've got to assume up against Fnatic is going to be a very tough task for them, no doubt. It's on Dust2 as well. Yeah, that's not going to be an easy feat for the Hellraisers. Uh, we do see Titan Envy after that as well. So the French are going to be beating each other up. As we did see, of course, we saw uh, TSM SK yesterday. We're going to keep going for these kind of uh, national match mm. matchups. We've got to see who can... Uh, they, they, drive there. they played each other yesterday as well um, on trains. So Envy came out on top of that one. Maybe they've got their form back. Who knows? They didn't have the best of starts against NIP on day one. Yeah, and of course the final game will be the real the big massive yeah. the biggie. TSM Fnatic. That's gonna be a real a real spectacle spectacle. Or a spectacle. It's on train as well. And that's train's the one map that actually TSM took off Fnatic in uh, yeah, uh, their right. best of five recently in the Fragbite uh, series. So that's the only one that actually they won the lost 4 1 overall. But train is actually one where TSM may have an advantage over Fnatic. Uh, they have, of course, done well in many maps uh, over the past. But we'll see how it works out. That's 
later on tonight, though. And as far as I see it, the more, the more train I see, the better. So yes. um, uh, we do have to kind of hurry things along, though, because I do believe the teams are starting to get ready to play. So we have to focus all of our attention on the matchup that is in hand. We're going to take a very short break, but when we do come back, we're going to be seeing Fnatic and NIP clash on cash. Last man standing, P250 out, jumping and shooting, he gets one more kill, looking for it, he's got him hunted down, time is up, oh my god, get ready, gonna be kidding me, the last kill in, one second left. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back then, it is time for NIP Fnatic. Thank you for staying with us as we're about to be going into this Swedish matchup. The Ninjas in pajamas up against the uh, reigning major champions, Fnatic. And Olaf has started as he means to go on and just deleting Freiburg's brain from the map. Or get right, it's going to try and go aggressive, realizing, thinking they were pushing on towards A site, but there's three of them ready and waiting. Remember, Dennis, of course, standing in as well, don't forget, for Fnatic. So that's why a lot of you guys at home have been voting for NIP, but it is going to be Fnatic looking to take the pistol round here. Exist with it all to do. Dennis going huge already, picking himself up a triple as he moves in towards B site. And now with the bomb down, Exist trying to just peek around that smoke, trying to get a little glimpse. It starts to clear, but they have his position covered off. Pronex to the left, Dennis to the right, catches on towards Dennis, but round the back comes Flusher all the way from mid. And it will be an easy pickup in the end for pistol round for Fnatic. NIP won the knife round, by the way. They choose to switch. Yeah, so starting on that CT side. And going to be interested to see what Fnatic do choose to pick up. Maybe the three SMGs. I'm waiting for to see what JW's got in mind. In fact, does it like he's just going to be keeping it nice and high for that potential or buy. So just going to be going for the PC-50. And a whole rain of nades for the Fnatic boys. Same can't be said for NIP, though. But they have gone in. And we're going to be seeing Exist look to tag up as many as he can for NIP to take down. See Freiburg wow. taking a big chunk of damage there, down to 10 health. That was a pretty big hit on him from them grenades. It is going to be Dennis at Squeaky. Just caught a glimpse of Olaf Meister there. Didn't get taken down though, Freiburg. He gathered the information and already the rotation's coming out here, but it is just exists with the scout sitting all the way back at Truck. He's going to be the man, but he smoked off and, well, it's going to be a simple take. Fnatic should roll in here. Yeah, this should be a very easy pickup as well. And 
I think NIP realize it. They're, they're kind of, there's a decision to be made here. Do we keep the Kevlar going into the third? And actually, Exist may have made the decision for them as he does connect the shot onto the JW. Get right obliges to finish that one. And Forrest we find ourselves in a three v versus three. Aloe and Forrest are starting to close in, but it looks like Dennis is going to dash Forrest's plans, and it does look like the Fnatic have secured themselves the second round. NIP made an impact, though, and they're so close to taking Pronax out of it as well as he finished on just 10 points of health, but that's going to be Fnatic second. Yeah, Forrest going into that forklift spot. I thought it was going to be a big difference, but they had it covered off. The new forklift, we should also say mm. as well. It's, uh, it's so much tidier. with the new hitbox, it's, it is everything really is just nice. working out well for them now. So Fnatic, good start for them. They also collected that scout. You can see JW's uh, got his hands on that one, so we'll see how it works for them. Looks like it will be going straight in towards mid. Alu's getting a little peek, didn't get tagged up there. And it's just a getaway. Complete save coming out for NLP as well. But looks like they've stacked out into A site and misread the situation. Freiburg and Get Right are going aggressive, but unfortunately, Fnatic have already taken control of mid and they're coming around the back. Yeah, I mean, NIP are just going to be hoping to uh, catch a couple of Fnatic members by surprise. Doesn't like it's going to be happening just yet, though. Pranax does remove Freiburg and the bodies are going to keep piling up. Just get right and exist. Hanging out, and they're going to be not too long for this world. Actually, Exist does manage to get uh, a little bit of something from this round. Does take Dennis out before being eliminated. So that's going to be our 3-0, and now it's going to be time for NIP to get some weapons in their hands and see where they do build from here. So let's see how it works out for them. Of course, everybody on the M4A4's new patch came through. The A1's pretty much been dropped like a hot potato by everyone. Other than TSM. Other T than TSM, TSM yeah. they only had Zipniks on it. They were sticking with it. Okay, well, they were the, one of the first teams to adapt early on the uh, Mac 10s, etc. As well, obviously, Renegades going to claim that one. They were at it for a long time, but TSM were one of the first to uh, switch to it heavily on the second round. We'll see whether they're going to be a trendsetter again. But Dennis is creeping around, squeaky. Alu's holding off in middle there, but Dennis does manage to find one through that door. Just a simple little poke. NIP on the rotate here. Forrest is making his way up towards A site, but should just about get here in time. JW holding that angle and Allo, both AWP versus AWP. <laughs> and Allo is just one step away. Oh my god, he's oh, considering he's it. That it. should be his death, and he is going to be going down. So now 5v3, and IP are starting to fall a little too fast for their liking as they are about to be swarmed from A main. It's going to be Zigzist who tries to make something special, but no, just the one for him. And now just Forrest and Get Right trying to do something. And Pronax, again, two very important frags for him, and that's going to be the free A site and most likely a free fourth. They're not winning those duels, are they? Trying to creep around there. Get Right. Oh, I think he just got spotted by JW. Wow. <laughs> Took him away. And well, just the one man lost there. That was a very clean round from Fnatic. Considering it's the first NIP rifles round, that's definitely give them something to chew over. Fnatic starting off on this T side incredibly strong. And JW already starting to get that warp rocking. What can NIB to do to respond? They're not going to do anything in this round, you would suspect. It's going to be the next one they need to consider. But they need to start figuring things out because they are playing out of position almost. They're, they're, they're trying a couple of things and it's just not working. They're not reading Fnatic at all. Not Fnatic just having a very mixed up T side, keeping NIP guessing. And this is really nice from them. You can see they've got three players stacked towards the B site. And only get right and forest. Actually, tell a lie. Alu has got himself over there as well. So they have got a good idea as they heard JW rattle off a shot towards the site. And in the meantime, Exist has taken Exist out. Tried to go aggressive. He went through squeak. He pushed through, but Pronax was ready and waiting for him once again. Olaf Meister's going to be the distractor over on A main while everybody else pushes in towards B. Ooh. Get right will get caught out, trying to stick in that corner. But the bomb and everything else. Olaf's done a fantastic job. He's drawn three people from NIP over towards that A site. He's finally been taken down, but the bomb's still yet to get planted by Fnatic here. I think they want to get all the kills they can. And Dennis, well, he's just going to do that because he's managed to get one, two, and three as they all push in him in mid. Yeah, he'll happily take that. No uh, no questions asked. Free three frags, and it's going to put five on the board for Fnatic. Now, though, it is again, again time for NIP to put some weapons in their hands. We're going to be seeing how far they can get with that. So far, though, Fnatic have been keeping NIP guessing, haven't they? I mean, like, they've basically stacked up towards B, then they had Olaf selling a fantastic fake over on A, and so far, NIP haven't been guessing too well. I mean, we, we talked about, obviously, how NIP are going to be having fun with this. Fnatic are also in that same situation. Obviously, they've got Dennis in there for Crims at the moment. Gamers, too, uh, giving him a, a bit of a loan deal there, but they're, they're just, you can tell they're clearly having fun. They're just enjoying it. Um, I don't think Pronex is going to be doing too many 
top <laughs> level strats because Dennis would just be sat there going, "What? Well, thank you very much, Pronax. I'll take all those and uh, and use them myself." But yeah, it is going to be a quick one for one trade. Olaf Meister though picking up that orb and getting himself another flusher gets another spray, but they haven't gone into sight yet. Exist is doing a good job of keeping them away on a site. Yeah, he always got Dennis incredibly low as well, down to 12, but. Still going for the peak, Dennis. Wolf gonna get caught through the smoke. Exist was fragging through smoke like a maniac yesterday, and he's looked to do almost the same thing again today. Now, Flusher does just catch a glimpse, and that's gonna be enough for him to back away out of A main, and doesn't look like Fnatic are done with A just yet. Yeah, Olaf gonna be going up towards Squeaky. Flusher's just holding the back here. This is interesting. They've got 40 seconds. They could have gone for a rotate, but they're choos choosing to stick with it. Olaf just hoping that somebody's going to show for him. Exist is getting a little cautious. You can see him stepping away, just getting a glimpse across, but he hasn't got the long-range shot. But Alu in a straight-up 1v1 with Flusher will get taken down, and it was a 4K for Flusher going huge there on the A-side. Yeah, very nice from Flusher. And look at Fnatic's economy now. Look at that 16,000 nearabouts for Flusher, nearly reaching the max, as well as JW and I think it was Pronax sitting in the 10k region as well. So pretty manic that Fnatic have managed to get so comfortable so early. And that's just going to be that scary 6-0 now for NIP to overcome with their buy. I mean, look at that. You're comparing two very different economies at this point. Looking at the CTs, you can see a P90 and even a UMP at some point. So they've really just get scraped together what they can to try and bring this round home. But Flusher's just going to be knocking them down. Down, two dead. Get right finally does trade it out, but it's definitely not a trade in favor of the ninjas in pajamas. Is Forrest going to try and push on through main here? So a UMP. Dennis is the one that's the other side of it. He's going to try and flash his way through. Actually, Dennis had already pushed through the smoke, going to forklift. Does get traded with Alu. And now get right all alone down on B site while Alu holds out an eight. And three members of Fnatic moving into site. But get right. He's picked himself up at M4. And he's starting to work his way back towards T-Spawn. They're still yet to get in on site. They've actually smoked it off, but Gerai wouldn't have heard that. It's too far away. Alu on the rotate. I think they want to perhaps cautiously do so. I think they realize that they're probably not going to take the round. They're just making sure they can get some exits as that bomb goes down. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a case of Alu not moving a muscle while Gerai goes for a little walkabout. I think JW is going to possibly see him. Oh, no. Distraction. Oh, cheeky That's little, little two, 2v2. Yeah. That's an AWP for Alu. Where's Alu gone? Is he going to pass it off? Get right, say, come here, I've got your gun for you. But Pronax, oh, he might catch him in a foot race here. Get right, going to go straight headlong into Pronax. That's not a fight. He's going to win. A bit too close, and that's the Dragon Law going straight back over to Fnatic. <laughs> yeah, I think JW was shouting at Pronax saying, go get that back. And he most definitely has then, as it's going to be Ninjas in Pajamas still yet to put a round on the board. They Oof. invested quite heavily into that one, and now, of course, the round loss bonus is going to be at its max, but that's still going to be forcing these very shaky buys. You can see, of course, the recovered full Kevlar nades and AK for Alu, and he's going to be the only one, really, with a rifle at this point. Yeah, this is a big problem. Fnatic, you know, are just playing without a care in the world, and it's working so well for them. They are picking and winning the duels. Everything is going their way. Get right's the man that's getting challenged by Flusher in mid there, but nothing was to come of it. Alu's going to be the one that pushes forward, and he's got three members of Fnatic pushing up on him. I don't know how, uh, how willing he is to peek this. Flush has made his whereabouts known, but oh, they're not even checking it. That's going to be an easy one. Surely not a second, though, as he does take Pronex out before Ooh. Olaf. Hang on a second, get right gets that, and now all of a sudden the numbers are heavily favoring NIP. JW is got to be putting a nade right into the skull of Freiburg. Doesn't quite finish him off though. Exist in the meantime, took down Flusher, and now JW, he's got a horrible set of players against him, and that's going to be a first round on the board for NIP, and that was with just the one rifle. So JW sticking to that CZ from that range instead of using the AWP that he had. It's like, yeah, I think He's confidence chilling. is pretty high right now. But uh, finally, the first round on the board for Nip, and that means they're actually going to go with a triple AWP setup. Well, why not? Right. It's been answered by a double AWP of Fnatic. Right, yo, okay. Um, so we have the triple AWP. I mean, I can't tell you where that's going. 1B, one 1A, one maybe? Freiburg, where are you taking that? Yeah, Freiburg B, Alu mid, and as you see the final one going over towards A. As you see Alu get one. Oh, Forrest gets another one. This AWP setup seems to be making a... Uh, Good, good damage into Fnatic at this point. Dennis, they do seem to have a good read on where he's going to be around Squeaky. And in the meantime, it looks like Freiburg could find one as well. The triple AWP has most definitely worked as it's a frag for every single AWPer. And now Exist is taking his turn Get to find one. Gerard is the only one that hasn't got a kill and they're right behind him in mid. Oh, Alu. Could have been a perfect ace team there. 
But instead, it is a round for NIP, and well, triple orb or not, it worked well. Not too sure of whether that was just Fnatic playing into it, though. But because they had such a great start, they can pretty much buy straight back up once again. It is just going to be a Tech 9 for Olaf, but that's may as well just be an AK in his hand. Yeah, Olaf and the Tech 9 is always a force to be reckoned with. I was intrigued to see where the T side go off the back of this one. Does look like they're going to be doing the mid smoke, so the wall of smoke is about to be very real in middle. I don't think that's going to be affecting Get Right too much, though. As oh, he's he is pushed through. straight through, and this is really nice. He knows the smokes are going to be meeting there a little late, and he's going to be able to get one, maybe two. He does Get Right, shutting Fnatic out of the round so early, and now they have to claw their way back with just three. Olaf's got himself around the corner, though. Dennis is also in there, and that's going to take over A side. Now he's the last man standing, but he's going to get the spray once again, working well for him. So, smokes himself off. He's got two orbs versus his AK. This is totally doable. He's going to catch one. I think he's going to be pushing on. Oh, and he's going to get on towards the second, but Alu will creep around the corner and find the shot onto Olaf. That could have so well gone Fnatic's way. That was a confident Alu as well. I don't know if he'd always go for a peak like that, but he does seem to have the confidence flowing through him at this point. And I mean, sitting at the top of the scoreboard with eight frags is most definitely probably one of the reasons behind that. But look at this push from Get Right, just straight up through mid, straight through the smokes, and Fnatic did not see that coming from a mile off as NIP now have three. Forest on the P90s. Is he going to go aggressive? He's going up towards B site. He would run straight into them. I'm just wondering. Get right's going to be alongside him. He is going aggressive. He's going to tuck himself in. This is going to be the bomb coming round. Dennis is there. Olaf's there. I don't think he noticed. Dennis actually went past him with the bomb. It doesn't matter. Get right's there. The cleanup crew comes in from NIP. JW, last man standing. And this will be another round for NIP. 7 4. Starting to claw the way back into it. Yeah, four in a row off the back of what was a uh, surprising win for NIP. They had they basically ended with four people still standing. Only one of them had armor, I think it was pretty much. No, actually, Alu had the full Kevlar helmet, and there was definitely a uh, Kevlar CZ as well. But still, very shaky for NIP to pick up that round, and then they just go and run with it triple to bring it to again. four, seven, <laughs> and they like the triple up. One B, one mid, one A. Let's go. I think it's like, buy what you want, guys. Just have fun. It seems to be working. Oh, get right might not get so lucky this time. He's going to push on through. I He's saw a Zeus. Don't think I did. To the drop there. And they, well, that's, that's something a lot of people have been talking about. I saw it yesterday, actually, being used Appreciate prolifically. It's really? just yeah. 100. I mean, why not? It's, it's almost like picking up a decoy now. Just go for it. Oh, JW's going to catch get right out here. That smoke. Oh, he cleared just at the right time. He's going to just creep straight into it. him. JW? Ooh. Okay, there must be the spec bug. The smoke was still there. Okay, yes. Yeah, it is actually. I can see it on the, yeah, the mini map. The smoke okay. is still the smoke there. Smoke is so. still there. That's just spec bugs being spec bugs. Now they're back into the action and four T's remain. Seeing Flusher taken down early, he's going to put NIP with a good foothold. Looking to build off that is Get Right. Try. Ooh. Oh, he thought about it. It does actually get caught off by Dennis. Nice swing with the squeaky and get away with it as well. As Olof, in the meantime, takes one up out of the equation. They'd four stacked on A site as well there. And IP had read the situation well. The bomb has been left in A main. And now with the team of Fnatic just wiped out, Olof finds himself all alone. He's got himself an AWP. Is he going to try and stick with this? He's got 30 seconds to try and do something. Try and draw someone out. Try and draw someone to peek him. Doesn't look like NIP are going to have any of it. Exists sitting on A side. They haven't seen the bomb yet, by the way, which is why they haven't stacked out over an A main. We can see it on the minimap, but I don't think they realize it's there because Fnatic just tossed it behind the box there. So, Which is why you see Forrest all the way down on B side. They're just spreading themselves out perfectly. Freiburg's going to be the man that's going to see Olaf first. As he comes around, oh, Olaf misses the shot. You don't ordinarily see that. Misses a second, but then they know his whereabouts. They know his positioning, and they're just going to cover him off here. Time runs out. Are they going to get him down before the clock? It Don't think so. I think he's going to keep it. Yeah, I think NIP were more happy keeping their two orps and the, and the M4. Of course, considering Exist, who has the full nades as well. He didn't really want to lose anything. And of course, wants to kind of keep their economy stable. Not too worried about the one orp from Fnatic. And I think we are going to be seeing a Galil as well coming in for Flasher. So not all good in the Fnatic camp. And that's five in a row still for NIP. And we were worrying that Fnatic were just going to run away with this one. But I think NIP have answered our prayers and have given us a real game. Four members of Fnatic all oh pushing dear. straight through onto B, and it's Forrest with an orb. It's not the weapon you want in that situation. Get right's going to drop down. Got an M4, gets one spray, gets a second, turns around, doesn't get caught. This time around, JW will take him down. Dennis picks off Alu as well, and now it's a two on two, uh, two on three, sorry. Existent Freiburg on the retake.
Yeah, all of them fall between them. And do you have a Molotov as well to try and clear out some of those spots? That's pretty good, actually. That's going to force one out of position and bring him down to 59 points of health. Brings one lower. That's down to five now. It's Dennis who's taking a beating. And JW coming from behind isn't going to be able to connect the shots. This is becoming doable now. That's all off. Does take down Freiburg, so all on to exist, and he hasn't got too much health to work with. I think the decision may be made to just take that. Oh, not going to be given the choice as Olaf finds him with the P250, and that's going to be another round on the board for Fnatic, stopping NIP before they get their sixth. Yeah, breaking a deadlock a little there. They were in danger of suddenly letting NIP pick up eight rounds back to back. So back and forth we go. NIP can afford to get themselves those triple up set up once again. They are vulnerable now, though. Mm. Fnatic are vulnerable to getting their money completely reset if this round doesn't go their way. And still with the triple hops. Okay, jump on board with Alu then. And see if he's going to be able to find anything early towards middle. Does catch a glimpse of one. It was Flusher who crossed and now anticipating that backup peak from Dennis. He's most definitely there. And Alu should be able to find the shot. Not going to be happening just yet. But he's got a good idea of it where at least two of the five are positioned. Now, does he realize that it's going to be an A push? Because he saw them boosting up there, but he doesn't know just how many have crossed on through. He does manage to find Dennis. That was the mid push. Deadened for now with Exist finding JW as what? he comes into main, gets himself all off, and suddenly this fanatic attack has been stopped dead in its tracks. Flusher all alone, he's way back over in T spawn, and that's just beautiful stuff from Exist. Triple or Meta Lee, yeah. that's what's going on. So uh, <laughs> keep your eyes locked on this one. Exist is hitting shots, Forrest is hitting his shots, and Ali as well. And NIP, they've managed to make this very, very competitive. 6-8 is going to be the score then so far as they're looking to play that final round of the half. And look at Fnatic's economy as well. They're completely knocked back to the Stone Age and forced to just use their Desert Eagles, which they uh, crafted out of cobble. I don't know. Stone <laughs> Age. What are they making their Eagles out of? Stone? Twigs. Stone. Twigs and stone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. At the moment, Get Right's feeling confident. And why not? He knows they're pretty low on money. Just lurking just around the corner. JW. If that's sawn off, though, may make him work. Oh, same smoke, smoke bug again. Yeah, we we can see them, but they can't. The this smoke is, what is now. The smoke's like. cleared. Yeah, now the smoke is cleared. This is what Wallhack feels like. This is what the uh, vac bands feels like. But get right. Not going to push up on it. Freiburg's going to make his move because it's a main where they're going to be coming from. Strength to exist. To had the orb in the last round actually. Has switched across to an M4. A4. Didn't believe. Didn't believe. Didn't believe too strong enough. Let's see. They're going to be pushing into sight here. Freiburg's going to line up the shots, but they're not landing them. JW does get get right. That's in the middle as well. So middle is completely left open, but exist on the cleanup. Now JW left alone. Gets Freiburg down. He's already picked two up. And now tell you what, exist is pretty low, but good work from Forrest to come around the back, expending the Zeus at the end as well. 8-7, the halftime score. Who'd have thought so when it was a 7-0 start? Wouldn't have thought that. That was very, very good to see NIP just kind of... It almost felt like they were trying to play... So they, they, the first couple of rounds, they were trying to play, mm. OK, guys, it's Fnatic. Let's play how, you know, those strats we, we created. And then in the end, they were like, OK, throw the strat book away again. Let's just buy three orbs and have fun. And then suddenly rounds started happening. And it was all down to that one round where they let um, Exist get away with the yeah. AK. And they actually just ran a strain to pistols. Yeah, I think actually, yeah, you're right. And I also think credit where it's due to Exist, who was holding A, almost every time Fnatic were throwing yeah. themselves at A, there was a, at least two kills coming up from Exist with AWP, with M4, it doesn't matter. He was very prominent in keeping the A site safe once they went back to their old ways. But I mean, a very, very decent half. And going into the second half, I'm most definitely excited to see what NIP can do given the freedom of T-Side. Yeah, we'll see how it works out. 8-7, it's a totally you know wide open match right now. NIP yeah. and Fnatic both got themselves a win apiece. Actually, NIP's got two wins, haven't they? Um, so it's a good start from either of them. The question is, who will take this one? This is, you know, a big decide, especially for NIP, because they are supposedly in a transitional period. We'll still wait and see. There's nothing coming out about that, really. Um, but they didn't make the finals last year. Fnatic did. They won it. NIP will want to be there this year. I mean, no doubt. It, it's, it's a big prize. It's a 250k finals that will uh, come to the end of it. Don't forget also, there's a lot of money on the placements as well, where you finish. So obviously you can finish at the top there. Everybody's happy. Everybody gets a bit more cash. But here we go. Pistol round on the way. Let's see how NIP take the tea side. A whole lot of bodies in middle and JW's lucky to be alive. He's just backed away. Did get ta tagged down to 16. I think Fnatic realized where this one's going. NIP are charging, wrapping through. NIP is going to be starting to try and catch Fnatic from behind as well. You can see it was actually Forrest who pushed straight through Connector, and that's actually kept them busy for 
the uh, T site to just swarm all over the site. This is nice from NIP. They're all over the site. They have managed to get in there. The bomb goes down, but it's a three on four. So you would assume Fnatic might be able to close this out, but suddenly two get knocked down, and it's all NIP now. Get right. Suddenly delivering with the pistol, gets himself that triple. JW with just 16 health. The first man that got dinked right in the middle is forced to run away. And NIP going to take it 8 8. That's going to be very important actually for NIP in terms of just starting starting strong. They want to kind of avoid what happened last time where, of course, we saw Fnatic just get seven straight up back to back. And picking up that pistol does give them, put them in good stead to start with an early lead then going into this one. You were mentioning Exist, of course. He is top of the scoreboard at the moment. 15 kills, so great job by him early on. Dennis, of course, on the other side with 15. But all square. What is going to come out? JW going for a UMP. Interesting. Okay. And full helmet as well. Yeah. I mean, well, he saved it from the last round. I think I, I don't oh, know whether right. he had full no, helmet. No, 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 he can't. I think he saved it from the last round. But uh, P90 is UMP coming out. We'll see how this one works out. They're going to be pushing straight through. They've gone aggressive on B-side. Now. Beat Olaf does take down one. It was Ali and Dennis actually who gets the second. Now three bodies have already gone down. This is Fnatic showing their prowess with no matter what the buy. Another oh. body drops and NIP coming into this round with a big smile on their face. It's going to be wiped clean off as now four members are going to be hunting him down in Checkers Exist. Does pay a price to take down GW. Just 39 points of health left then as the CTs start to close in. He realizes that that bomb is a mile and a half away. Oh, and he just had to sit there and face the music with that nade. He realized that it's either peeking towards B or catch a nade. And now just with 12 points of health and 56 seconds, he realizes, I'm just going to have to sit and wait. Yeah, patient game here. Flush is sitting on the bomb over and towards the spawn area, which is why they're not moving in on him. They know Exist has to move. And Pronax with the deagle. And it's just to make it work. So, great round from Fnatic there. They forced on that UMP. They forced on the pistols. And NIP just ran headlong into them. <laughs> and NIP just forced right back, saying, OK, you can do it. We can do it too. Going to be going in with a full armor tech nines. They have got the couple of nades. And I do say a couple. It just exists flash and smoke to, that's going to hopefully guide them towards a site. And, and Alu is a CT. Do you see that? <laughs> Alu had a CT model. I did, I was look at him. Oh, yeah, what GIGN, the hell? boys. G.I. Joe. Going to be going in on the T side. Going to try and do what something there. on earth going on there? I think it's all part of the uh, the magical floating weapons as well. There's a whole lot of kooky I, I, things I going on. I saw the uh, the beautiful floating stuff yesterday. Yeah, there's been some interesting uh, yeah. spec changes. Just some growing pains. little bugs. A little few growing pains, like you say. Existent Forest. Well, they've got the bomb. They're making their way over towards B side. Now, Olaf is all alone here. So this is a potential... Win. Oh, speaking of floating <laughs> uh, weapons, right there. But Forrest is going to come around, gets a little tag on towards Olaf, but that's enough. He got the information. The rotate's coming out here. JW is going to go straight towards Vents, but Forrest. Forrest is running straight back to mid. He's going to catch JW in the back, but no. JW comes out with a headshot. Olaf takes down Exist, and Fnatic pick themselves up another round. Yeah, now NFP are going to be in trouble because that's going to be falling away from them. Zero in the bank for the uh, ninjas in pajamas so they're just going to have to sit and watch and I can feel like Fnatic again they get within arm's reach now of that 16 before NIP can really make a bit of a noise here on the T side yeah what is NIP going to do because if Fnatic's economy starts getting going on the CT side it's very hard for the T's to get themselves back in it and Fnatic pushing with three straight through middle there so expecting some sort of rush through middle but didn't come NIP stacking out are they going to go for and then Alu's still showing as a <laughs> as a CT guy. On the yeah, this is actually what you don't realize is this is Alu's statement. He's actually going to be joining <laughs> Fnatic. Uh, he's, going to, he's going to actually defuse as well as plant. What is going yeah. on here? It'd be funny if he had a defuse kit on his back. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be... They, they, they were setting up to obviously do smokes, but they don't have smoke. So I guess they were expecting maybe a wraparound, a rush, maybe someone to push through squeaky. Either way, Olaf's the one that's going on an adventure. He's going looking for the kills. I think he's going to find him. Exist actually was just tucked around the corner. It looks so confusing so for CT <laughs> to be firing a CT like that. <laughs> okay. And it could, it's like the fact that I can see that little blue name running around behind the T's. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, what's going on here? Either way, we are going to be seeing NIP just get shredded. Did take Olaf down, so that's something. But I think that's all they're going to be given. As now the traitor Alu and Get Right are left standing. Now just Alu, and he's going to be down as well. So that's going to be another then for Fnatic. Putting 11 on the board for them. In terms of fragging, they are, we're just saying everyone just take their turns. Very nice to see Fnatic just uh, 
playing standard CS, really, for them at this point. Yeah, this is looking a little easy for them now. NIP. Now they're on the AKs. They have to step up here. This, this is, is a big one, actually. This is the big round. JW's got himself the AWP as well. And Flush is sticking with the Gilil. Okay. Why not? Why not? Whatever you're comfortable with. And I'm intrigued to see whether or not we're going to be seeing anything different out of NIP. They have just been kind of hanging around towards boost, hanging towards middle. And then... Oh, actually, hang on. Ali's gone for an early push. Push straight out. He's got to himself towards fence. And he's going to be looking to try and make something happen in towards mid. Let's catch a glimpse of Pronax crossing, that's not going to be enough. And Pronax is heading straight towards NIP, trying to provide the necessary backup, but Alu goes hunting. That's nice. 4v3 now, Fnatic have found themselves at a bit of a disadvantage. And they are going to be trying to see that if they can get that bomb down. Forrest is the one punching in the digits, and already the bombs, the, rather the bodies are falling. It's just going to be JW then, who has to try and find his way through three. Oh, Alu's going to get around the back of him before he comes. But he's very low on health. A pistol could have taken him down, but that's an AWP going in towards Alu's hands, and that's exactly the round that NIP needed. That's, that was crucial. Alu got two very important frags there, both getting the AWP, but also keeping Pronax from rotating safely. So very nice to see that. 11-9 then is going to be the score as we do go on in to see Fnatic by straight back in. I think you, you highlighted before we saw a couple of glills. This time we're going to be seeing some FAMAS in play for Fnatic. Uh, there's, I think there's no, no, this is not necessarily a need for a mix-up, but I think if get if uh, get right can keep uh, get right and Alu, excuse me, keep seizing mid control, keeping mid under wraps, that's going to be the real, the real route to uh, the success for NIP. Shots rattling, but nothing really being found. JW took a bit of a hit, but everybody else is perfectly fine. Freiburg trying to get a couple of shots through the door. Get right sits. He's actually got himself took the other side of main, so he's in a good position to try and catch somebody by surprise, maybe at forklift, which is what he's looking at the moment. But smoke will go out. The rest of NIP spread across the map. Exist all the way down on B site, forest in mid, Alu creeping up to main. So it looks like it's going to be an A hit here, but oh. Fnatic are ready for it. Fortunately, Gera manages to trade out that frag. That's insane. He flicks around through main, finds Flusher before he finds cover again, and that is important now as we do. Once again, return to level playing field. Four versus four. That's another one for Get Right. Now A is wide open. Exist is going to be trying to get that bomb over to A as fast as he can. Forrest's job, on the other hand, is to catch players in mid, and he does it. GW now down, and now it's all on to Olof and Dennis. Olof's the only one with a chance to stop this bomb from going down, and he has taken a good step in the right direction. Yeah, nice headshot to Get Right from range <laughs> there, but it's not going to get followed as Ali will get the return. Forrester did a great job, by the way, of distracting. He kept two down in B for so, so long. I don't know what he was doing down there. We didn't quite see it, but we did see them both sticking there. Dennis is going to back away. Sort of floating pistol along with his uh, M4 there. So all sorts of shenanigans going on. But Forrest always going to drop on down straight in towards Dennis. Dennis should come out what? on top of this one. But has to quickly switch weapon and got away with it somehow. Will take himself the AK, but now they know where he is. Exist is trying ball bank from the other side That Now he's up in heaven. Alu's going to come around the side. <laughs> it's so confusing with that blue name. Realize he doesn't want to risk it. Ah, Exist is going to get around the back of him. Is he going to peek no in? No way is he going to keep I this think... reference. There's no way is he going to get away with this. Yeah, not a chance. Nice play from Exist, and that's going to be a very important round. The ninjas are in double digits. So close. So very close this game. Could go either way still. 11-10. And considering both teams are playing fairly loose Counter-Strike, it's actually still very entertaining. Fnatic, though, on the save this time around, so we should be seeing this game all square at 11-11. Yeah, we certainly should. Then again, we sh uh, then again, we have to just look no further than the second round yes, indeed. from Fnatic on their CT side, where they did just force straight back in and pick that win up. No armor, though, just a nade for Flusher to try and make some magic happen with his P250. As Ooh, exchange of fire goes favorably for Forrest as that one nade from Flusher Ooh. does get invested. And, oh, Forrest is down to just one point of health. Fnatic already taking a bit of a beating, but I don't think NRP are in any rush to try and get that bomb down. Get right catching all off there. He went through Squeak. He tried to push up and then got caught on the uh, rotate back around. So B-Site starting to get pushed by NAP. They're in. They're there. And Pronax, well, he's all alone on A-Site. In no man's land. Bomb's not being planted yet. It's just been left. NIP are just waiting to try and find someone. At the moment, doesn't look like it's going to happen for him. Alu's the closest to him with that all, but everybody else from NIP just slowly working their way into sight. Well, I mean, maybe CT Alu will show his true colours and <laughs> just go mark all of the NIP boys. But yeah, Pronax is... Oh, Alu yeah, did have his magical P250 there. Oh, and Pronax has got his magical USP. 
Both members using the uh, secret floating it's weapon. It's the Julie's upgrade. That's yeah, that's right. No, I told you. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. floating akimbo. It's very rare. <laughs> but uh, I think this is going to be the end for Pronax, and this should be one hit NIP. Point. There we go. Oh. NIP do equalize. Okay, we really do have a game on our hands. Fnatic going to be buying into this next round, you would assume. Hello. That could have been so big for Pronax. Uh, there was Forrest with one hit point in front of him, and exists with three hit points dead ahead and checkers as well. He could have got a double kill quick and easy, but... Uh, Sadly, he didn't land those shots. So all square, and then Fnatic obviously going for those M4s. It's about all they can afford, though. Not a great deal of nades. And that's going to give them problems because they can't put too many smokes down. They've only got four to play with. We're going to see one going out straight towards the middle, one into A main. Was that then that double smoked me? It was, yeah. That was them. Flush, Flush has just gone straight through. Get right. That's going to be very confusing. Get right's already through. He's, he's, gone, he's gone into mid. <laughs> he's got caught finally. <laughs> he went on a wild goose chase at that point. It is going to go down. It was a risk maybe worth taking though because it does get kind of under Fnatic's skin, especially if he could have found a frag or two. But now Freiburg is going to get stalked from behind. Olaf has gone on a bit of a mission. Does take one down. I think surely not going to be expecting his to be around. He does anticipate the uh, flank from Forrest. And now a 3v3 does establish. Two, now, second, second Alu. Alu picks Woo. up a quick double. And while Dennis, the last man standing, is spotted out, Exis was still hanging around in mid. And 12 11 NIP. Close round, though. Aggressive stuff from Fnatic. Getting right around the back of them. He said to Olaf, I mean, he, just, he pushed all the way around B site, which gave them all the information they needed. Got that kill, but unfortunately for him, Forrest was waiting for him. So. 12, 11, and Fnatic back onto the pistols. Becoming a bit more of a familiar situation for Fnatic, and I'm intrigued to see if they can really keep anything safe at this point. They are looking to potentially stack up three players over on towards B. Fnatic is going to be pretty kind of uh, quick to rotate as well. You can see they've completely abandoned A. Yeah, three-man stack on B. But I think Exist was ready for it. You can see with that opening grenade he threw out there. JW still got himself tucked around the corner. That flash, they're both going to push at the same time. Is it going to work out for them? Exist does get taken down. JW with the one. Can he get the second here? He gets a great tag and takes down Freiburg. And now Alu suddenly realizing something is wrong here. Forrest will find Flusher in the middle, but that bomb has been pushed over to A site. Yeah, so Fnatic stack does pay off quite nicely. They have managed to take two weapons away. Bomb's going to be going in, and of course that's the one price you have to pay for a stack, is if they do get a relatively good read, the bomb will be as far away from you as it possibly can be. That's, that's going to be Olaf now down and out, and JW is going to be trying to clutch onto that AK for as long as he possibly can. Yeah, got himself tucked into vents. Is that him firing? I didn't actually see. No, it's Get Right. It's just trying to flush him out, trying to find him. I think he's going to check the vents. Oh, no. Oh, and JW puts Get Right to the wall. Tries to drop on through, but now Forrest knows where he is. Oh, and he's going to get a smoke pass. Just a couple of shots. Oh, unfortunately, <laughs> JW was clever play. He see, knew what he was doing, but unfortunately, he was backstepping straight to Forrest. 13 then for NIP. This would be a huge victory for the Ninjas if they pick this game up. Fnatic, you know, they may have looked a little loose, a little kind of relaxed beforehand. Of course, having Dennis does, of course, make things a little bit more difficult, but there's no doubt he's fragging. 18 frags for him. Pronax got a kill already, apparently, according to that overlay. What? <laughs> <laughs> already has a kill to oh, his he's got name. A kill. Oh, see, don't, yeah. don't understand how that works, but wow. there we go. Oh, go TV, you are having fun for us. JW is going to be the one that's under pressure. He's got himself around the corner. He will smoke his way around. Three members of NIP were pushing fast onto A there. But they haven't gone through. Now, is Dennis going to go aggressive? He's just below them, but it oh. doesn't matter when Get Right does that. Gets himself a delayed double, it appears. JW has still not been dealt with. He's managed to get in. It's a squeaky. How has this worked? He gets himself another on Get Right. They push on through. He gets a massive tag onto Forrest. The nade's going to catch on Forrest. Oh my god, JW goes huge and exists. His left all alone in a one on two. That was glorious there from the Fanatic author, and now Exist has everything left to him. There is two to find, and Olaf could be walking straight into his crosshairs, but Olaf too quick, taking a leaf out of JW's book, and the two of them bringing all five frags home. What a wild, wild round there. JW wasn't dealt with, sat in the hid in that smoke, and then just backs himself into the squeak and picks up a triple. That is incredible. This is something other teams not, can't necessarily count on. You can't count on someone hitting shots like that. A no scope into Aloe, basically through smoke, then cast his eyes towards Get Right, basically through smoke, then through a door. JW doesn't even need to see his enemies to pick up all and of these like frags. Underhands the uh, like, grenade that's out for the you. door. There Thank you, you very go. Much.
nothing they could do about it. 13-12, Fnatic get themselves right back in there, but they need to make sure they hold on to this round or their economy. It will be in tatters as Olof has been taken down. Halu just holding the angle, get right, getting the peaks, but the rest of NOP sitting to... Oh, seemingly poised to go towards B, but Dennis is pushed on through. Does manage to get a glimpse on Freiburg, but Freiburg, the flash just cleared in time and gave him the shot, the angle. And now it's a five on three, make it a four on three. Now, Fnatic looking to equalize in this round, and there's no doubt JW surely not going to get away with it again. <laughs> Don't again. you dare, JW. The door is open, so it kind of gives him a little bit more freedom. Now, catches a glimpse of the legs of Alu. Anticipating the repeat, does actually go for the peak. He's gonna oh, just narrowly miss out the shot. You can see his idea was kind of starting to take shape. Close the door, gives him the little bit of time to go and peak. Main does not gonna happen though. And in the meantime, Flusher did find Allo. So two versus two, and NIP they've got 30 seconds to try and get that bomb down on A. Well, they've got no smoke, so Boris is going to have to try and push his way across here, but he's challenged nicely, and now he's pinned. He's completely in a real unwinnable situation, unless Get Right strikes again, gets himself a double Pronax. We'll <gasps> catch him! Oh, they lined up for him perfectly! And Pronax gets a very easy double and makes it four kills for the round. Truly unbelievable. This is happening more times than not for Fnatic. It seems like they just flick a switch. They say, okay, time to stop losing rounds. And just each individual takes it in turns. JW got four the round before. Now Pronax takes his turn. And NIP, they just don't seem to have that capacity at this point to deal with something like that. I mean, lining up certainly does make Pronax's job easy, that's for certain. But still, 13-13 is the score. NIP need this round, and it's certainly not an easy one for them with limited nades and no weapon for Freiburg. So, slow play required from NIP. Or not. Look at Freiburg. He's straight through mid. They've done the wall of smoke. It does give him the flexibility to maybe go vents if he chooses to. Oh, and look at this. Get right. It's completely forced him to rotate. Look at the minimap. They're all heading up towards A site. Get right's done a great job. Dennis left alone. Suddenly, no, wait. Pronax has called it. It's like nobody's come. Nobody's pushed on site. Get back on your sites. Olaf going to get a peek in towards middle. Will he get a glimpse on Forrest? I think he will, but Forrest will land the shot. And now b sites in trouble. Flush is making the rotate. He's going to push in towards middle. Pronax being occupied still by Get Right, but it's Flusher that's getting the peak across, getting the shots through, but it could be a four-on-one on, on B-Site. Flush has pushed back up to Carr. He's left them all alone. Get Right's just simply the man that's distracting them completely. Where do you go from here? Fnatic, the Alma's definitely were operating on a pretty hefty disadvantage, and NIP are about to use their numbers as best they can. Charging into the site, it's going to be Freiburg first on the scene. Alu actually connects with the AWP in process, and it's now all on to Pronax. This is to be an NIP showing that they can play well as a unit. And now all on to Pronax to just desperately try and take something away. He does. Just Forrest, though, before 14 is collected by NIP, and now just two away from the Magic 16. And that gives them problems. That gives a big problem to Fnatic. They're going to have to save here. And that will give match point to NIP. That was crucial. That was a rifles, very important yeah. round for NIP. That was definitely a biggie. So we're going to need something from Fnatic here. Some glorious moment once again. They've shown a couple already with pistols. It is entirely possible, but Fnatic are up against the ropes. NIP could have a fantastic start. Olaf's gone aggressive, actually. I think he's gone into squeaky. He's going to try and push around the back, but look, Get Right's already actually waiting for him, then expecting it. Exist is one that's going peeking, but Get Right's going to find Olaf here. I don't think he's going to be able to sneak up on him. Oh, the timing. The timing. They, I think I think Olaf saw Get Right. I don't think Get Right saw yeah, he him. Did. He's going to push on round. It's going to be a little flash around the corner. It's going to be perfect. But, well, pre fire from Get Right. I think he kind of expected something. Absolutely. No NIP. I think got a pretty good idea that that site's going to be clear. Fnatic went for the wrist. They went for the stack on B. And. Absolutely not going to be paying dividends in this one. Freiburg's going to be sprinting. He's got his running shoes on. Going to try and get that A-site planted as fast as he humanly can. And then from here, it's going to be very tough. Just the one AK-4 flush. He managed to recover that from the Corpse of Exist. And this very well could be Ninjas in Pajamas with one chance to close this out and pick up that victory. Pronax is going to get nailed by Get Right. Spins doesn't get the second. Pronax is Alu, actually, that picked it up. Boost. A little boost there. JW up on high. I think it's just it's weapon collecting right now. That's all they're trying to do. And he may work for them. Forrest is going to be expecting Dennis here. Should come around that corner. JW up on high though, remember. JW is going to drop and surprise him, but he's not getting surprised. Not a man of his experience. Can't get caught out by any of those shenanigans, it would appear. It's going to 
creep around. Oh, finds pinpoint accuracy on Dennis there. So Flusher does hold on towards that 8K. Final round of the game possibly here. Match point for NIP. And maybe, just maybe, the... Uh, oh, I don't know if I want to bring this Dennis factor in because he's still fragging. Of course, he's maybe... He's great. Yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised if Fanatic approached the game differently because they oh, yes. didn't have their full five. I mean, that's absolutely clear. But either way, Ninjas in Pajamas are now one round away from picking up the victory here in the Pro League against Fnatic. It would be insane to see them have such a comfortable start against some of the bigger names here. With a beaten Envy already, this would be their win against Fnatic. And... The top four is certainly uh, getting shaken here in the Pro League right off the bat. Nice from Forrest, though. Starts as he means to go on as Flusher is now forced to watch as this best of one could fall out of their grasp. JW shows what he's capable of with the Mag 7. Now, 4v4. Yeah, Mag 7. It's his trademark almost for JW over that orb these days. It's something he always falls back on the heat, but NIP in a 4-on-4 four four against Fnatic here. Pronax. In middle, getting a peek, and Olaf actually going very aggressive, but exists just to the right hand side of him. Doesn't realize it, will get caught out. Freiburg also winning out the duel against Olaf in middle, and that's given B site all to NIP. Dennis moving in, JW in towards middle. He's going to get spotted off. Exist will take down Dennis, and now the last man in the middle is JW, but he's in a three on one. This is most definitely going to be curtains then, as this could be NIP picking up the win. JW's got to do something very, very special. Not going to happen as the Tech 9 does connect. And it's Forrest who brings the final frag home. NIP succeed over Fnatic. 16 13 going to be that final score. I'm going to write that down because I do not want to forget that. Big result. Big result for NIP, no doubt about it. Uh, both teams playing, obviously. Different Counter-Strike to what we used to see. described it as loose. L very loose, yeah, very loose. They're clearly having fun. It's an online league for them. Uh, they both expect to qualify anyway, so probably not taking it like uber serious as you would do, say, if right. you were in a grand final best of five time thing. So it's uh, that's what I'm trying to say. It's They're still taking it serious. There's still money right. at hand. I was going to say, there's, there's a lot of money at hand. Pay, but... That sort of game, you know, that's what we'd call a, a six-pointer in the Premier League. It's, uh, you know, when you take a big victory over one of your rivals, when you're looking at getting towards those top four spots, could be looking towards the end of the season and looking back at this result and thinking, wow, okay, that was a big NRP, one. That was a big one. That most definitely was. Of course, Fnatic playing with without Crims. There was a real absence there of Void, but Dennis filled it very comfortably. 18 frags for him at the end of that one. So big frags from him. And I don't think Fnatic are going to be struggling too much in their next game with that with that, like with the loss of Crims. Of course, yeah. we are going to be seeing more from Fnatic and hopefully going to be seeing them demonstrate what they are capable of up against Hellraisers. That's going to be our second game of the day. And I'm really intrigued to see more from Hellraisers as well because they have this new presence fix in place of Dozier. Yeah, we'll see how it works out. Dozier I was a big fan of, so he was a man that could carry them quite often. Mm. So it's really some big boots to fill. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll see if they are filled after the break. We hope to see you there.